how much money are you actually <laughs> able to make on OnlyFans? Um, did you guys see the bad baby thing? She made 52 million in a, in a year. I I make a hell of a lot of money. I've had days where I've made over six figures in a day. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! <sighs> it's really sad, isn't it? Yeah, do you think I'll marry AC? I don't know who would marry you. <laughs> Hey, well this shit's funny, cause I agree. Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Christine Grace and today is another reaction video. Today I'm reacting to Araco TV. I was actually suggested to check out this channel by someone on my live stream. I did a live stream the first time on Tuesday and yeah, uh, someone mentioned that I should check them out. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen one or two videos of his before um, and I definitely enjoyed it so I'm excited to check out today's video um, but yeah in other news guys I am going to be going live every Tuesday at 7pm UK time so make sure you tune in for that we can interact a bit um, because it's all good and well me sitting here in front of the camera babbling away it would be great for you guys to interact with me live and I can respond live so yeah anyway let's check out this Araco TV video okay But wait, there's more. I have a boyfriend. That's Cap. No, it's not. It's not Cap. It's an evil world we live in. But hey, I'ma keep living. She's basically saying I do have a boyfriend, but I don't care. And the reason why I don't care is because I know I'm gonna get away with it. And if you don't believe me, here's the proof. Cause she's still with him. Me personally, I find this out. This rap is over with. But oh boy, he still got her up. You know, the tattoo match with the girl. Bro, out here getting played more than PS5s. Like you really need to reevaluate your life, your situation, your relationship. Don't be him. Let her know some things she doing, the way she moving, she ain't gonna be moving like that. She moving a little too funny. Well, I'ma laugh my way up out the relationship. Any woman that respects her man is not gonna behave like that on camera and a man that has respect for himself is not going to allow that so maybe they deserve each other yeah do you think i'll marry ac i don't know who would marry you Hey, well, this shit's funny, because I agree. I don't know why she's so surprised, to be honest. I'm not saying she's a bad person. I'm not saying she's bad looking. I'm just saying most men are not going to want to marry or settle down with a woman that's posting naked pictures online or being with half a twitch. Do you accept what I do for a living? Yes. That's a lie. Are you serious? You always told me you were. I feel like maybe in the beginning, I felt like I was more accepting. But I guess that later down the line, it kind of just got to me. Why did you even stay with me? Because I felt like you're just such a good person. I still think you're a great person. I think that, uh, it's not that I don't accept it. I think it's just something that didn't make sense in my brain. Because I definitely do respect you. Is being fat a choice? No. Hey, this is no hate. But I have a question. Why are you only talking to thin people about fat bodies? Like, how does that make sense? Really, I'm actually curious. Cause the math ain't mathing. Cause he's outside the gym, you donut. If you watch what happened in the 60s and 70s. I bet she likes donuts. <laughs> oh, Teal Swan. I like Teal Swan. I know she's a bit of a controversial figure, but nonetheless, she does speak facts, at least from what I've seen of her. And I think I know what this video is and she speaks facts. Women were essentially saying, we can do what you can do but they can't, okay? I know you don't want to hear this. Nobody wants to hear this. This is not politically correct. It's true. Men and women, they are two different energies, two different powers. So it's no different than water saying, I can be fire. This is not personal. This is not sexism. This is the fact that we are dealing with two different beings. And until we recognize in society that we are two different beings, we're never going to be able to set up a society that's actually beneficial for both. So to the degree that we as women are demanding that we are seen as the same as men, we're going to get ourselves in trouble here. When I think about you know feminine empowerment, it's about being brave enough to assert our difference. It's about not being threatened by the opposite sex as well. There's a huge component in there, wanting men to be men and wanting to be empowered as women, it's the same thing. There's a lot of modern day women that are being brainwashed into thinking they can do everything that a man can do, they don't need any men. You can even see it in Netflix, in the Marvel movies, nearly every single protagonist in these movies is a woman that's trying to prove that she's stronger than men. If 
fellas, if it looks too good to be true, it's probably because it is. Literally more times than I can ever count, where I'd have to walk the guy up to the ATM and like literally be like, what's your pen button? Mm -hmm. Like, baby, what's your pen button? Are you gonna, can you do it? And like make him enter his pen so he could take the cash out. Are you serious right now? Now, I'm not excusing her behavior. I think it's pretty embarrassing that she's proud of it. But at the end of the day, it's the simps that are paying for it. It's the same with the OnlyFans. It's not girls that are paying for it. It's guys that are paying for it. It's guys that are making these women rich. I'm going to ask you probably the question you get asked the most about OnlyFans, which yeah. is how much money are you actually <laughs> able to make on OnlyFans? Um... Oh God, the amount right now, honestly, is endless. Um, did you guys see the bad baby thing? She made 52 million in a, in a year. I I make a hell of a lot of money. I've had days where I've made over six figures in a day. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! <sighs> it's really sad, isn't it? Well, it's sad for me anyway. It's just like, we live in a world where money has just become absolutely everything. It's like, okay, you made six figures in a day. A couple of things upset me with that. You've made six figures in a day, but a guy probably has to work until he's like to reach, at least on a, you know, normal trajectory. And we're, we're not talking about the exceptional people here. Like the average guy, you know, maybe he'll hit six figures when he's in his 50s or his 40s if he's lucky. But a girl in her 20s who just shows her tits on Instagram, oh, I'll click the link in my bio, OnlyFans, can just shoot up to that six figures in a day. So that's the first thing that upsets me. Second thing that upsets me is just like, money has just become absolutely everything in our culture. Like, no one wants to work for anything anymore. Everyone just wants money straight away, handed to them. And you know, okay, cool, you've made six figures in a day, but what else is there? Like, do your family love you? Are you surrounded by people who care about you? Will you get married? Will you have children? Like, what else is there? Are your family proud of how you made that six figures? It's a shame. Men who refer to women as females. That's gross and weird. You are a female. <laughs> How stupid is she? I one time left the guy because it was so boring. You know when you know that they're not going to bring any drama to your life? So you want drama? <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait. You guys like drama. This is the fact of how most women are nowadays. And, uh, you know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. There is no coincidence that psychological thrillers, horror movies, documentaries about serial killers are so popular among women because we're emotional beings. And if you can spike a whole bunch of emotions at once, it's enticing, unfortunately, um, because a lot of women lack the logic to work out, okay, you know, that high that you get from it probably means there's gonna be a pretty steep low. Um, so they chase the high and then, you know, when they hit the low, go, oh, why is it I keep getting all of these men? And then they don't realize that they're the one who's been picking all of these men and it's just a whole mess. I mean, on the screen right now, that she says, you guys like drama. Yes, yes, they love drama. They absolutely love it. Um, but they won't take accountability for it. And that's the issue I have. There's nothing wrong with saying that this is what you like. You know, I believe in freedom for all. If you really like the extreme highs then first of all you have to accept that they come with the extreme lows so first you know make sure you know you're getting both sides of the coin um and also you know just admit that you're taking accountability for it like yeah i like the drama and you know i'm probably never gonna find anyone to settle down with because i have this unhealthy pattern of chasing these ridiculous emotional highs um you know if someone can be aware enough to admit that um, and they know what they're doing and they're being honest with everyone else about what they're doing, then there's nothing really wrong with that because they're being upfront and honest about it. But the problem is, is that they'll exert this kind of behavior, they'll chase these emotional highs um, and then they'll blame the lows on everyone else and they'll blame their own circumstances and their own choices on the rest of the world instead of realizing that they're the ones who put themselves in that position in the first place. Oh, you know, I had so much drama. Okay, we can't end this, we can't end this, we can't end this, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't. Can Hello. I had so much to tell and so much drama happening. Or I can fish drama from somewhere, and I'm like, and you, and he was not toxic. He was like Is a that normal guy. Like, no. I'm just normal, you know? And I was like, no, you can't just be normal. A lot of this generation is lost. They've been taught to think that healthy relationships are boring. It's not even just about being with the guy that's too nice. It's literally about them wanting toxicity in their life, thinking that that's normal. Now it's all fun and games in their twenties, but when they're in their thirties, they're not gonna want that. And at that point, men aren't gonna want them either. What do you think it's gonna look like for you? He's absolutely spot on. Now in the dating market, as a single woman yeah, with three I... children, you left the man that committed to you, you had three, three of your children, you've left him, you're now on the dating market with three children, 
What do you think it's going to look like for you on the dating market? The desert. The desert? It's the desert. What do you think is better out here? I'm a wife. Wait, who was that in the background? <laughs> we saw a guy. Who's that in the background? Who's that in the background? Speak. You could talk. You've been talking to me the whole time. I have. I, I told you who I was. <laughs> That's the guy you had sex with today? <laughs> So you, so the guy you had sex with today is in your house, and you're on my show looking for a new guy. I'm on my, I'm on your show to tell you that I'm single, and if you know, I find you're on my show to look for a new guy because that's what this show is about. Okay. So, so yeah, you know, I'm on the show just to put myself out there. Yes. Yeah, you're on this, you're on the show to meet a new guy. That's what this show is about. You want to meet a guy while you have the guy you slept with in your house. What kind of quality man you think is gonna hit you up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being honest. I mean, I mean, I'm being honest too. What kind of quality man you think is gonna hit you up? I don't know. You tell me, Kendra. Not one. This guy is not my boyfriend, and he knows that. Yeah, you asked him today. You think that makes it sound even better? I mean, yeah, no, it doesn't make it sound any better. She hit the nail on the head. No man is going to take her serious after seeing that. And then she wonders why men don't want to wife her up. So yeah, you can get guys sliding in your DM. You can get guys telling you you look good. You can get guys that want to sleep with you. Uh, how many of these people actually get guys that want to stay with you? Okay, I turned 30 tonight, and this is the advice I have for younger people. This is Sam. I met him in college when I was a freshman, and I had a huge crush on him because he was the resident DJ at One Oak, and I thought that was very cool at the time. It was cool at the time. It's not cool to me anymore. Anyway, I had a crush on him. He was too cool for me we did not date so what did i do i worked my personality this is making me cringe already why did this man stand here and take this why did he let this be filmed let alone posted and a passion and i doubled down on my career and then 12 years later we reconnected and he became my manager and now i'm engaged to somebody i love i'm not interested in him at all romantically but he works for me and so every single day i wake up and i think about the man i love are you sure about that? And he thinks about me and my career, and he sends emails on my behalf, and he works on contracts, and he laughs at my stupid jokes because he has to, because his money is involved in my money, and he's constantly thinking about me, constantly scheming for the future. She seems really emotionally invested in someone who she claims not to care about. Anyone else getting that vibe? This is really cringe. And that's how you play the long game. The goal is not to have them date you. The goal is to have them work for you, and that's the advice I have for everyone. I think it's good to... Please, no girls, please, young girls, anyone who sees this, young girls, please don't listen to this woman. This woman is crazy, crazy. What she's saying is not funny. The rejection or something negative into something positive. But when your life revolves around that whole thing, you can't let that thing go. That's when it's living rent free in your head and you've not really got over it. It's still got power over you. The fact that she's made this TikTok and she's still going on about it years later tells me that she still cares. She still likes him this guy because if you didn't and you truly moved on there's no way you'd get on tiktok and make it. trust me how embarrassing for her fiance as well how embarrassing oh my god i would not have that like if i was the dude if i was her now fiance i'd be like what are you doing take that shit down you look like an idiot for one you look like you're so obsessed with him and you can't get over him. And what are you doing? Like, that's embarrassing to me. What are you doing? You're supposed to be my woman. You're supposed to be a reflection, a portrayal of me. And all she said about her fiance is, I'm engaged now and like, I'm happy. But then she's gone straight back to this guy. And what is she doing with him on a night out anyway? Like, oh, this is just weird. This is just odd. What is your body count? Three. Is that the truth? Whatever she says is truth. Yeah. Okay, what is your body count? Two. <laughs> Why are you lying to me? All right, all right. Three. No, stop lying. Say all right, like 14. You're like 22, yeah. so it's fine. Is that the it's truth? It's literally not, though. Hell no, it ain't. She said she's got 14 bodies, but it's fine because she's 22. Even though before that, she lied. And then at the end, we can see she's still lying, and it's more than that. See, women say that men shame them all the time for their body count, but they're the ones that are ashamed to share it. And I'm not saying you have to answer those type of questions, but if you're answering with a lie, it means you're in what does a girl look for in a guy? Money. Money, you know what I'm saying? Money, that's it. Just money. And looks a little bit, maybe. Most of these women who expect a man to have all this money don't have a pot to piss in themselves. Get off your ass <laughs> and go make your own fucking money. And it's embarrassing that they don't care about a man's character. Facts! Oh, I really like this guy. He's hilarious. Yeah, absolute facts. Get off your own ass and go make your own money. It's all they care about. It's all they care about. You don't deserve a guy if that's all you want from him is money. No, go get your own bloody money. You just want money from a dude. Like, what? Where are literally any internal characteristics? None.
They literally haven't na named anything. They've not named anything that has any kind of depth to a human being. They have named something that's attainable materialistically on the outside, money, and looks. Oh, wow. What, the shell a person comes in? What about what's below the surface? Oh, God. This generation is just so shallow and disgusting, quite frankly. What he looks like, it's just about the money. How much would you pay for one night with Bad Bunny? I wouldn't need I to pay. He would pay to be with me. Yeah. He would pay to be with you? Why would he pay to be with you? Papi, I got a lot to give. <laughs> like what? I'm Latina, mi amor. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a lot to give because I'm Latina, darling. Bad Bunny's got thousands of Latinas fighting over him every- Who is Bad Bunny? Day. For those who don't know, Bad Bunny is the highest streaming artist in the world right now. I've seen some clips from his concerts. You see girls running on the stage, crying when they see him. So he's the modern day Beatles. Got it. Why are you Is it funny? No, but you know, I didn't actually snug him. You didn't snug him? No. Doris. I seen you snug him. Oh, no, you didn't. Did you see him snug him? I watched you snug him. <laughs> <laughs> Caught this one kissing her boyfriend's best mate whilst he was in the toilet So I told him I'm gonna tell him when he gets back Yeah, you should tell him to tell her where she belongs She belongs to the streets Yeah, she does What a shame What a shame this is where we're at Girls, are we not embarrassed? This is poor This is really poor I'm embarrassed I'm embarrassed just watching this The fact that I'm a female who's a similar age to a lot of these women Do better what are you doing? It's in your boyfriend's best mate. Why don't you let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with all of my reaction videos. Remember, I'm going live every Tuesday at 7pm UK time. I also have personal vlogs where I tell you a bit about who I am, uh, what I'm up to, a bit about my backstory. And be sure to check out my series Debunking the Lunacy, where I try and give you the flip side to a lot of things that the mainstream media doesn't want you to know, or at least won't tell you. So why don't you go check that out, and I will see you over there.